Hi and welcome to this video on how to put your device into fast boot mode. This is for the Dell Streak 7. And again, you can see I have the Dell Streak 7 here. I have the cable plugged in, but I'm not plugged to the computer. It's just hanging loosely. I'm going to press the volume down. As you can see, it's got a little minus sign. I'm going to press the power button. I'm going to hold it. And keep holding and there you see you'll have a black screen with red text and that's how you put the device into Dell, the fast boot mode next we're going to be plugging it into the computer and installing the drivers Hi and welcome back to the tutorial on how to install Fastboot. As you can see I've got it already into Fastboot mode and I plugged in the computer. And now we're going to install the drivers. So I'm again I'm going to scan just because I've been working on these videos a lot. And you can see a Fastboot device is there. Give it a chance to refresh. As you can see it's you know it's saying you can't find the driver. That's fine. We're going to right click update driver software browse my computer, let me pick it from my list of device, show all devices, next, have disk, browse. Now we're actually going to use the same exact driver that we used for ADB. So it says, you know, ADB plus fastboot. Press open, press OK, and you'll see it says Android ADB interface, and that is really actually fine. I know we're in fastboot mode, but it's fine. So press next, Verify it. Let it install. And this may take a moment. Okay, there it is. It's installed. It says ADB. I know that. So we can verify this actually. I'm going to pull up a command prompt here. We're going to change to where I have my stuff here and you can see I've got fast boot command in here. I'm gonna go fast boot devices. It's got a question mark fast boot. I know it's installed. It works. In fact I can do fast boot and then I can do flash W. Oops sorry fast boot W. This is gonna wipe the data partition. Look it's actually working and I know this is gonna work because I have the drivers are properly installed. It's erasing the user data, erase the cache, and it does take care of a second. And it should be completed, but you know, I don't care. It is correctly installed. And that is actually how you install the fast boot drivers. Thank you so much.